Okay guys, I am back today and we're gonna do something fun. I am fixing to coffee dye some papers. And please excuse the lighting in my kitchen. I'm having to use little flashlights sitting all around everywhere because I don't have good lighting in my kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some coffee. I'm going to put, pour it in this pan enough that will cover uh, two or three sheets of uh, paper. And I'm going to then after they soak them for a few minutes or a few seconds, I'm going to put them in this pan and I'm going to dry them with my heat tool. And what I'm doing is trying to make them look vintage. I have this journal that I want to make. This here is what my checkbooks come in. And I'm just going to use it as the cover for my next junk journal. Then this here is just a bunch of junk mail, um, different things that I have that I've put in here. I'll just go through it and see which ones I want to uh, coffee dye. And I also have an uh, expired catalog from close to my heart. It's no longer any good. So I'm just going to tear out the pages and coffee dye them. And we're going to see how much we can get done. But the first thing I'm going to do is sit y'all on this tripod and make the coffee. So I'm going to pause the camera while I'm getting it set up where it won't be shaking so bad. Okay, so here is our coffee cup. I am using some old instant coffee. I had bought this coffee last year. Um, I wanted to have it on hand for when I ran out of coffee pods because at that point in time, we were going pretty fast through coffee pods and I wasn't being able to get to the store fast enough to replenish it. And I used a little over half a jar of this coffee. So I'm just going to make a cup. Of course, you know, we could not, cannot drink this coffee. It's expired. So I'm using it for crafting only. So I've got my coffee pot set up and I'm just going to run water through my coffee pot to make this cup of coffee and then we will pour it in the pan. While this is brewing, y'all can watch this brew. While it's brewing, I'm gonna go try to find another flat pan that I can put the papers when they come out of the coffee for me to dry them. So I'll have enough on hand. While that's brewing, I'm going to go ahead and look through my papers here and see which ones I want to. I'm going to make a tag out of that, so I'm not going to coffee dye that. That was a cereal box. Um, see, I may do that. Here is some calendars. This here is some scrapbook paper. It had uh, the uh, May, April, and a May calendar, and then these extra little, looks kind of like vintage um, pictures, Easter pictures. I'm going to stick them in the coffee. Um, I have this come in the mail today. It's a document looking paper. Um, it, it was just a flyer in, in the mail and some junk mail. I'm going to coffee dye that. Um, let's see. I have uh, some envelopes here. I'm going to run them through the coffee. I have a pretty card here that someone gave me. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and run it through the coffee. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I have, uh, I don't want to use that one, I want a plain. 
envelope that has a doesn't have an address on it. I mean, this one has an address on it, but it's never been used. This is a uh, junk mail I got AARP. I'm gonna use this, run it through, uh, get it dyed. So that's all from there, and then I will pull some papers from. Um, now, I'm not going to run this through because I will be covering this with scrapbook paper or like book paper or something to make it look vin vintage. So, all right, our coffee's made. I'm probably going to need another cup. May I don't know. I've never done this before. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I don't know how many cups of coffee I will need. I'm going to do two. I think two will be enough. Plus, um, my husband will be home before long. And that'll be about all I'll be able to do right now. So, we're going to do one more cup of coffee. And while that's doing, I will move these out of the way that I'm not going to coffee dye. Get them ready to be put up. I'm going to pull some pages from this Close to My Heart catalog. <clears throat> oh, it didn't tear right. I think I'll start from the middle. Maybe it'll tear better if I start from the middle. I think so. This side, yes, that will work much better. And see these with all of these uh, stamp um, wordings and different things that would be great for the journal, the way this catalog is. So, okay, I think that's all I will coffee dye for right now. And I will move y'all over. As soon as we get this coffee done, oops, ah, it's going to run over, it's going to run over, I put it on too high of a setting, I put it on the 10 ounce instead of the 8 ounce, almost ran over guys. Okay, let's go pour it in. All right. Now I'm going to move you over here where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now, all I'm going to do is... Oh, my ear just stopped up completely. I'm going to start with these smaller pages. Here's an envelope. I'm just going to dip it in there. This is that card. I'll open it up. Make sure that goes down. Put that. Let me go get my tongs. So I can mash them down in there and get them out without burning myself. Right now, this envelope, I'm gonna stick it in there. All right, this document looking thing some kind of insurance, life insurance. So, they're trying to they send out in those uh, ad paper things that they send out each week. Now this is the scrapbook papers. I'm just going to put two or three of those in there. And I'm going to let these start soaking it up. All right. Now, I hope you can see what I do over there. Uh, maybe if I move these pages 
move that over like that and you'll be able to see more of what I'm doing. I don't really want myself in the camera because I've stayed in my house clothes today. Now, these don't have to be real uh, coffeeed up because they they kind of had a little vintage look to their you know to their self already. So I'm just going to take them out and lay them over here. Take this document looking paper out. Oops, I picked up the wrong thing. Oh, that's where it come a loose. It hit where it had that, what do you call that? Where it tears off? Peripherated, is that the way you say it? <laughs> so the card came off. You have to be careful once it gets soaked to soaking because they get fragile, they're paper. So naturally they get fragile. So you have to be really careful. So I'm just gonna lay all of these over here. And then I will put some more in there soaking while I'm drying these. Coffee's about cooled off. Of course, I'm sure if I stuck my hand down in it, it would burn me, but uh, just pulling them up out of it, it doesn't, it's just warm, it's not real hot. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more in here to be soaking while I'm drying these others. Now I'm coming to the uh, catalog pages. Ooh, don't roll up on me. I hope you're going to work. May not be able to put nothing on top of you. I have to do one at a time of these. The type of paper it is. Okay, get down in there, cover up. I'm gonna have to hurry up and get these dried where I can get them out of here. I'm just using my hot, um, my heat gun, and hopefully this will dry it fast enough for those. And the water won't run. I'm sorry about the noise. Uh, I probably will cut a lot of the drying part out. Alright guys, I wanted to show you what I've done. And I think it's going to work really well. I'm trying to get this uh, flashlight over there where you can see. I don't know if that helped much, but I'm trying to put it where you can see, but where you won't see so much of me. <clears throat> I took my oven rack out. I laid it on top of a cookie sheet so it wouldn't make my countertop so hot. I've put a few of the pages on the oven rack and that gives it the air can flow you know under it and it'll dry it faster. I would have loved to been able to bake my papers to dry them it would have made them probably more crisp and uh, more vintagey looking, but my oven right now is tore up. So I'm not able to do that. But I can just see the water drying, the coffee drying on this. Now that I have it set up like this, and I'm really thinking it's going to make the drying process a whole lot faster. So I'm going to go ahead and finish drying these and then I will come back and show you the finished result. 
Well, good morning, guys. Yes, it's the next morning. The first part of this clip was Friday afternoon. This is Saturday morning. I didn't have time to finish my papers yesterday. Uh, hubby came in, and so I had to get things picked up where we could get supper and get, you know, settled for the night. But I want to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I did get all of those papers that was in here that I showed you yesterday. I got all of those um, soaked in the coffee and dried. But I wanted to put some just some plain white copy paper in there and make them look old and vintage. So I, I have one sheet here left I'm going to put in there. I have one soaking that I need to take out and put on the cookie sheet. And I have two that I've already put through. Um, I'm going to pretty much just let these sit here until the coffee soaks up. I didn't have time to do that yesterday. And it, it did stain my papers to look more of a, you know, the, the old creamy color, like old paper. But it doesn't have like the spots on it because I, you know, took them out. Uh, and I dried them with my heat tool. Well, I am going to dry these with the heat tool because the heat tool gives them that crispy um, feeling. But I'm going to wait. I'm just going to let these sit here on the table until that coffee that's in puddles there has time to evaporate and wait. It may be this afternoon before that happens. But when they start getting almost dry and, and most of these puddles are dried up, or, you know, that it's not just puddles anymore. Um, then I would go over it with a heat tool and give it that crispy, uh, you know, finish drying it out and give it that crispy feeling. But I, I want those spots on it. That's what makes it look so yummy to me. <laughs> so I got that. I'm going to cover the camera and walk you into my craft room because I don't want to make you dizzy. And here are the ones that I finished last night. I did find out that I probably won't be using the close to my heart paper. You see how it's tore. It is real flimsy. Uh, when it gets wet, it just kind of like disintegrates. Is that the word you would say? So I probably won't be using those to coffee dye anymore. Uh, I'll just use them, you know, as they are in a journal that I'm not doing as vintage, vintage, but that's the close to my heart papers, and you can see the, you know, the ones that was really, really, I was really, really careful, and I didn't let them stay very long, but yet they don't, they're not dyed a whole lot either. I just kind of like dipped them in there and took them out, because when I left them staying in there, that's what happened. So the others that's not tore, see there's one, this was my first batch, and I left them in there too long. When I picked them up, they just started tearing apart. So these, I just kind of, um, just kind of dipped them in there and then put them over on the cookie sheet and let them set. And I, I kind of just let, let them dry some before I actually started with the heating tool. So <clears throat> they're good, but they're not as d dyed as I would like them to be. Now. Uh, I also tore this map, the, uh, map, this calendar, the May calendar from the um, uh, scrapbook paper. But if I'd have been a little bit more careful, it wouldn't have tore. It would have worked fine. And you can see it's pretty much dyed. You know, this was stark white paper where the white parts is, and it dyed it pretty good. So that's good, and I can glue that. It didn't tear it too bad. Here's the smaller cards of the uh, scrapbook paper. They turned out pretty good. This one I didn't leave in there long enough. Um, but see, that made that picture look, you know, it was a vintage looking picture anyway, but the background was pretty stark white, and that gave it that old aged color. Uh, here's some pieces of just junk mail. I, I probably won't be using stuff like this anymore. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of learning everything. And I'm kind of learning what I really like in my journal. And these I probably won't use anymore. I'm probably going to use more 
like plainer paper and another thing is with the these like with all these pictures on it I'm thinking I'm gonna go with more like ledger paper or um, even if I have to do stamping on on uh, copy paper and make my own aged paper or whatever or like newspaper something like that that's not so bold that will just when you put something on it it just covers it up or either you have to cover it with if you're having to cover it with scrapbook paper that's really kind of de defeating the purpose so um i'm going to be more ch choosy in the type of papers that i use in my journal but i like i do like the way this uh insurance paper thing that you know it's just in they're trying to get you to buy insurance i received junk mail in the mail I like the way that come out. It looks like an old document. So I like the way that come out. But these two, I'm going to... I don't even know if I'm going to put them in my journal this time. Probably not. I'll probably just trash them. Here's the envelope. I think it turned out cute. I like it. Here's uh, one of the blank envelopes. The AARP that they sent me. Junk mail in the mail. Uh, I like the way it come out. Um, here's that card, which it was already a creamy color, but it, it does have a few little spots on it, um, that makes it look more vintage. I'm definitely going to use that. So, then after, uh, I got, we got supper and got cleaned up and got our baths and got around, I set, I didn't get them all done, but I took my papers, you know, that I stamped out yesterday. I showed you those on another video. I took them, and I didn't finish them because I did a, quite a bit. But I took them in the living room with me while we were sitting there watching videos and stuff. And I cut them out. I'll cut some of them out. So I've got a good bit of embellishments here to go in my junk journal. So I'm going to try to finish cutting those out today. Uh, and then... Those papers that I have soaking, I'm going to try to get those finished today and see what else we can come up with. All right, guys, I wanted to share that with you and um, complete this video and let you see how my coffee dyed papers come out. I think they're going to be great. Um, I will show you in another video how the plain copy papers came out, but I'm going to go ahead and put this video up. I'm not going to wait until those get done. But in another video, I will show you uh, how they come out. I may just do another video when those complete. Because I never did show y'all the ATC cards that I made um, using scrap pieces. You know, I use scrap pieces of, of uh, from my scraps, my, my scrapbook paper from my scraps. And I took just one of those pretty thick sheets of junk mail, and I just covered it. Remember that? I covered it on both sides with scrapbook paper. One side, I just used a big paper, pretty much just one solid big paper that fit the sheet. On the other side, I took bits and pieces. Well, I told you when that dried and I got them cut out, I would share the ATC cards with you. I never did do that, so my next video will probably be showing them and the... Uh, copy paper how it came out tea, uh, I started to say tea dyed coffee dyed alright I will talk with you all later I hope you have a great day don't get too bored get in that craft room uh, try some of them techniques that you uh, been wanting to try just find something to keep your mind occupied and let's just have a fun day today and stay safe I love you bye